Hello everybody, Epic Mewtwo here, despite not being in October anymore. The spooks will continue with this Rainbow Star, Super Saiyan, Gotenks, and Ghost. Welcome to another Dokkan video, guys. Today, we're going to be going over this guy. I know you're probably like, why the heck did you rainbow him? He is pretty decent. I know most of you know that, and I know you guys know that I don't usually rainbow free-to-play units most of the time, but uh, kind of have a... Uh, I I'm going to flex for a second here. I'm kind of an overabundance of in orbs right now, so I figured I might as well. Plus, you know, Halloween, like, you know, or at least like holiday units are really cool. And we haven't had one that I feel like was really like a really cool ho holiday unit like this in a long time. I don't know why I stuttered it. So I decided to go ahead and rainbow him. Before we get into the match, let's see what he can do. So he is only an SSR. He cannot awaken a UR. Maybe he will in the future. I don't know. Hopefully we can, but you know, that'd be cool. But regardless, leader skill, fusion category, key plus two, HP attack and defense plus 30%. It's all right. You could probably use him for a sub leader on battlefield. But besides that, you know, you're probably not really going to be running him unless you don't have another leader. Super attack cause supreme damage to the enemy with a high chance to stun. Always pretty cool. Passive skill randomly changes key spheres uh, of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. Recovers 6,666 HP per rainbow key sphere obtained and recovers HP with candy. So this is really interesting actually. Um, I really like this passive skill. I think it's pretty unique. I kind of see what they're doing with the whole Halloween thing there with the, uh, the amount of HP that he recovers. Obviously they're kind of a number off there, but for good reason. The candy thing obviously only pertains to the boo event. So we're not really gonna be using that here. Um, but you know, that is kind of cool that they do that. A lot of the, uh, a lot of the Boo Saga units that have something to do with candy, or, you know, in this case, obviously, since he's a Halloween unit, can recover HP with candy. So that's pretty cool, but you know, it's very event specific, but I guess if you're playing that event, definitely a good option for that. Uh, Link skills are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepared for Battle, The Innocence, Fused Fighter, and the Saiyan Lineage, and categories are Fusions and Hybrid Saiyans. So we are going to be trying them out on the Hybrid Saiyans cat, or not the Hybrid Saiyans category, the Fusions category today. Part of the reason is because obviously LR Gogeta benefits greatly from Rainbow Key. So I kind of wanted to see, uh, you know, what, what we got going on in that department. Let's go ahead and play, hmm, everything is here right now. I kind of want to do the LR Gogeta, well, but then we don't have type advantage with Gotenks, so I'd like to have that a little bit. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead, because he's in, let's go ahead and play the Turles event, because that's kind of an interesting event, and plus there's, a, oh, give me one sec, alright, sorry about that, I did a multi at the end of the last video, and I forgot that my box was full, but anyhow, let's hop into it here, let me grab a Gogeta, hopefully, I don't know why I turned that to villains for a second, hopefully we can find a decent one, eh, one with one dupe, we'll take it. All right, so uh, that is also another team that I might run for video once I get that other good thing so I can. But regardless, though, uh, let's actually go to the team that we're looking at here. So we are running this team, kind of just a normal fusions team. There's lots of options that you could run. But these guys, uh, I will say, you know, their leader skills, or not leader skills, sorry. Well, I guess, but their passive is a little bit meme -y. You know, obviously it's kind of meant to be something, you know, a little bit wild since, you know, it turns a random key sphere into rainbow or random type. But their links are really good for fusions. Their links are actually incredible for the fusions team. So they are definitely not a bad option if you're looking for another, you know, unit to throw on the fusions team definitely not something that you should be opposed to trying to run now we are going to give them key here um to be honest with you i know usually in my showcases i don't like to give them key so we can kind of see how they work together raw but i kind of just forgot <laughs> that's the real reason why i i ain't even gonna trip with y'all that's the real reason why i did that <laughs> i just forgot but anyhow let's um let's see what we can do here so gogeta mm. so i don't know i wasn't i didn't look what key sphere did he change i'm not quite sure i'll have to keep an eye on that for the next one i was kind of watching all the animations play in in the beginning there um although i assume it's well i don't see any tech key there so maybe it was the tech key but that is a lot of rainbow definitely so that's good obviously 
We uh, we probably want to keep him on rotation, but I guess since we're already here, too late now. <laughs> but you know, we do have a lot of stages to go here, and especially with how you know how many enemies we got to fight here, we'll we'll be in this for a little bit. All right. Wow, my boy, going through, coming through. Hey, hey, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. All right, Gogeta, I see you. I see you. I haven't actually run fusions in a while. I've been running Patara most of the time. Let's see how hard he can hit. Only a 300k attack stat. But I love this super so much. It's so good. <laughs> All right, so we did stun them, and he got about 600k. Not that good of a hard hitter, I will say. Um... Uh, he definitely is more, you know, sort of support based. Um, I do want to kind of get him linked with that Gotenks. Mm. But at the same time, Gogeta... Well, let's just see how things play out, I guess. Gogeta is obviously probably the better unit to put there uh, for, you know, for what's happening right now. But I do want to see these Gotenks linked together, obviously. So, he's not going to be a hard hitter. Dang, I low-key now see that much damage. I, I, I kind of regret rainbowing him a little bit because I wanted him to hit for, like, you know, maybe, like, 900k. That would be good to ask for a free to play unit, I feel like, these days. But that's okay. That's okay. You know, it's cool still to have a Halloween rainbow unit. Or, yeah, yeah. Anyhow. You know what? I want to show some love to some of these other units. So, let's actually throw Gogeta in the back um, just so that he's not, you know, pile driving through everything. Um, we do obviously want him to kind of be there when Gotenks is there because we want to see, well, the ghost Gotenks, well, Gotenks and ghosts, there we go, because we obviously want to see what happens. Alright, Gogeta with the counter, that's what's up, that's what's up, coming through, my boy, my boy, still 900k, even though we got that hot type disadvantage, that's what's up, type disadvantage, I have no idea what I just said. Alright, so we got that going on, oh my gosh, bro, chill, <laughs> chill, my boy. Alright, so we're going on the tech stage, so he is going to be doing super effective damage here. Let's see. Wow, wow. he and Gogeta link incredibly. Awesome. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like he changed Fizz Spheres to Rainbow, because I don't see any Fizz Spheres. I was looking at the links again. I know, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not paying attention to it. I should be. But, it almost doesn't even matter if, like, LR Gogeta, at least, his type of key there specifically because Gotenks since it changes like one type of key Gotenks is providing so much rainbow key that like he can just get his max key super here comes that spooky time by the way oh that was not good damage but that's okay that see here's the thing like I kind of low-key regret rainbowing him because he doesn't do much in terms of damage but I will say that he definitely is a very good unit in terms of his passive skill. I suppose Rainbowing it does have their perks to being a little bit more defensive too. You know, obviously the unit couldn't tank as well if, you know, they didn't have all the dupe system investment. But still, very interesting stuff here. Um, we'll put Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, I guess, in the back. It almost doesn't really matter with, you know, like... <sighs> With these teams with this high of a leader skill, they just kind of like wipe through these events. I will say, I think they definitely did a good job of making the cooler event a little bit more difficult. Uh, I've been really enjoying playing through that event. So, that one's definitely really good. The tier list is more recent, but, you know, it really be like that sometimes. But anyhow, Gogeta's going to finish them off for sure, and then we, move, we will move on. Excuse me, I don't know why I'm tripping over my words here. We will move on to AGL Turles. Oh. No, we're not. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot. Once you beat the tech one, you don't go to the AGL one. <laughs> the team's too <do> good. <laughs> well, I guess the showcase is over. I do feel like it was a good representation of the Gotenks, so I'm satisfied with it. Usually when I don't feel like it's a good representation. Also, that was a new record? Really? Huh. I, I do feel like, you know, when it when it's not a good representation of a unit, I will kind of do another stage just to show. But I do feel like we did a good job showcasing the unit. So overall, uh, while we collect these rewards here, final thoughts on him. I feel like he might not be worth the rainbow. He's definitely worth a slot on the team, though, considering A, how much he offers in terms of links, and B, that rainbow key helps the LR so much. I might actually try messing around with this guy 
on some other teams like some other teams that can use rainbow key you know maybe run them on a hero's team and use them with super saiyan 3 angel goku or you know uh int goku and vegeta the lr because that passive is just really good for all that rainbow key because you got to think about it right there's already rainbow key on the field if it drops he's changing an entire type so either way, you know, even if there's not a lot of either of those originally, like if there's not a lot of one type of key that it decides to change, or there's not a lot of rainbow key in the first place, there's still going to be like at least a couple of spheres on the field. And, you know, so far from seeing what he was doing there, we were getting pretty lucky in terms of how much rainbow key we were getting. So I don't know. I think he's a pretty good unit. I would say definitely not worth the rainbow in terms of just output, but maybe defense because he was, you know, taking hits pretty all right, though, you know, the leader skill was very high. Um, so maybe that is worth it for you. You know, obviously I had an overabundance of int orbs, so it's not really a big deal for me, but I definitely give him a chance on your teams. Uh, I actually like this unit a lot more than I expected to, to be honest. Uh, you know, obviously like I love the art, but I mean, you know, like the mechanics of the unit. But anyway, guys, uh, I'll let the spooks continue for you. Give your boy a try here. Give him and his ghosts uh, a slot on your team for one or two matches and see how he goes for you. But anyhow, I'll catch you in the next one. Epic Mew 2 out. Peace.